Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video today, I just wanted to bring to your attention. I do have a TCG player store um, that I sell pretty frequently on here. If you guys come to my store, Matthew Cody's Cards, um, you'll see I have several cards up here for sale. Just reach out to me and let me know. Um, if you guys are interested in anything like that, uh, you can message me on uh youtube and just say hey i'm interested in this card you have and maybe we can work out a deal or something uh i also have an ebay store where i do sell pretty frequently with like decors and uh play mats and football cards and stuff like that so just reach out guys please uh enjoy the video peace hey guys true night here <laughs> sorry i'm starting out a little groggy this morning okay uh so OCG just did some crazy stuff today. Um, I'm probably gonna post this video a day or so after, but yeah. Um, and well, not today, but they did it yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, it's Tuesday. It's been a long week already. Um, but the ban list came out for OCG. Uh, I don't know when it goes into effect. I'm assuming October 1st, but they did some craziness and they made me put on a tinfoil hat and I'll talk to you guys about it during this video. But, um, <clears throat> what did I talk about in the TCG bin list, right? Impactful hits. Um, what meaningful changes did Konami make to the TCG bin list? And I counted on my hand, uh, I think it was what, I counted three out of the 17 moves they made. Um, Unlimiting stuff, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, the only meaningful unlimit that I have seen in the past, like, five years is Zeus right here. Um, but, this is the OCG, not the TCG. So I gotta remind you guys of this throughout the video then. Um, and then in the semi-limits, nobody cared. In the limits, people cared. And in the bands, of course, people cared with Lacrima and things like that. So... What do we see in the OCG? So this is coming off the heels of a back-to-back -back American um, world's champion, right? Um, in Master Duel, or well, TCG championship in both Master Duel and Paper. So OCG is already showing that they are struggling. They are having a hard time to be adaptive and creative and keep up. Um, so what's going to happen this following year in response to that? Konami OCG is going to start to catch the OCG up to the TCG. And they begin that process by putting Maxi to two. What do I think? Um, sorry, I have a little bump on my nose. I got bit by a bug earlier, uh, this weekend. We went out, we were outdoors all weekend, but... What do I think about Maxi? Um, I'm a firm believer in ripping off the bandit. Don't sit here and like peel it back a little bit. Like I have hairy arms and things like that. If I ever have a bandaid from like a blood test or something of that nature, don't just just rip the bandit off. This card should have just been banned. If they want the OCG to catch up to the TCG, they should have banned Maxi they're instead just easing the OCG into it, which I think is going to eventually hurt them more than help them. I think that if you wanted to kick off this next world's run for the OCG players, you should have um, just taken Maxi out of the game. Um, and I've been a firm believer of that for the past like two years. Just like Shifter should not be in the TCG. That's if they ever want to level out the playing field between OCG and TCG, which I don't think, oh, I don't know. They're starting to send mixed messages, guys. So, um, anyway, uh, Nightmare, Pain, like, Ubel is going to be on life support come Rota already. So, which is another big thing for OCG. Like, if you really want to help your player base, which already has an extreme advantage by getting sets like months earlier to the TCG, I want you guys to think about that. The TCG uses the OCG as like a roadmap because the TCG is superior to the OCG. And don't tell me I'm wrong because it's past two years prove that. So the TCG is in every way superior to the OCG. Not only do we fund the game, but 
we play the game better, we do better events, and we beat the OCG back to back. So, um, it was a cute little Fire King Snake Eye deck that made it to top cut at the Worlds, but ultimately, the cute pet deck stuff's gotta stop, and the OCG's gotta start taking things serious if they ever wanna catch up again. So, by that theory, you guys should start making more impactful moves, which I think they've started to. They've shown that, hey, we fucked up, Fiendsmith was a mistake, we suck at card design, and we need to take a step back. They showed that here, okay? Um, Konami never wants to admit that because they're like a little kid. They don't want to admit when they're wrong. However, they finally did that here and showed, like, yo... The degenerate battle phase deck and the stupid Fiendsmith uh, engine should not exist. And we're sorry. We're stupid. So, congrats to you there. I'll give you props, Konami, there. You guys finally admitted your faults a little bit and are starting to be aware of how stupid you really are. Um, hopefully in the future that improves, right? And we, we see more of this. Now... They also banned Beatrice a day late, a dollar short. Like, this makes no sense. <laughs> like, you just, you're just gonna do away with Fiendsmith in its entirety. So you're all about Ryzel and Malice and all that. Cool, that's cute. But, um, a few things that this ban list shows me that has me worried. Um, I am worried now because I had high hopes and I had talked about it with my player group and with people that I chat with constantly in Colorado here. I had said that this ban list sucked because the impactful hits didn't really impact a lot. The same decks are still topping. However, maybe in December we're going to see a relevant, more like impactful ban list. And now that the TCG has taken OCG down again, back to back now and really a lot of the like entirety of the player base is now shitting on the OCG it's no longer just like the top players saying yeah we're kind of better now it's the entire player base literally just sitting here going OCG sit down like we'll take it from here and all that talk has gotten to Konami OCG's ears I feel like our lists are going to suck worse. And this is going to be a year of you're going to see a lot of the OCG getting even more attention than usual and better things. And the TCG is just going to suffer. And we're going to see like last minute changes to the ban list pre-Worlds next year. Um, it's It's just something that I feel like it's very political and very like... OCG carries a, um, they carry a feud with the TCG that I'm not going to get into because I'm not going to talk about it on my YouTube channel, but I talk about it with people in person and things like that. Like there's things that I feel like as a corporate and as a country and as a background and all that stuff that play factors into the reason why particularly TCG America and Europe get less favoritism. But I'm still proud of the TCG because they're overcoming all these odds and they're overcoming the OCG literally just trying to find ways to kick the TCG down and still win. So that's great. Like, that's awesome to see. Um, now, what is even more confusing about this ban list? So what has Konami TCG shown us in the past, like, six months to a year? Um, they're doing away with negates, right? They're doing away with Apo, they're doing away with Baron, with Savage, with all those things are all taking hits and going away. But yet, Konami OCG brings an Omni Negate back. Like, do you see how confusing that is? They still have Baron. Like, and now they're going back in time because they've brought back Master Plan, they're bringing back Zodiac in its fulliness. I don't know how much more it's missing, but like, if you're trying to progress your game forward, you're, you're going backwards, OCG. I don't know if this is maybe just like 
their way of saying, hey, OCG, take it easy for a couple months, have some fun, and we'll get serious soon. But bringing back an Omni Negate when you're getting rid of them in the TCG, like, you're just sending all kinds of weird mixed messages. Because, like, Konami, are you wanting Omni Negates or are you not wanting Omni Negates? Like, it's weird, right? Um, in my opinion, what should have been on this ban list? Baron should have been on this ban list, if that's what you want gone. Um... There should have been more of a hit to um, Floodgates, but instead you brought one back to two with Gozen Match. Like, these. You brought Snatch Seal Limited. You. I don't know. They made Snake Eye unplayable. Cool. But at this point right now in the format, Snake Eye is already, like. pretty hit in the OCG, right? Like, so impactful changes that we saw uh we're starting to see signs that konami ocg is pulling their head out their ass and seeing that maxi is hurting their player base um another impactful hit is they're seeing that their idiotic card design was stupid and they're trying to do away with it uh impactful card hit um i guess bringing back dragoon to one Masterpiece and Dryden, it's cute. I don't think that it can compete against Ryzel or anything, so I don't really care. But Dragoon, like, after you've already hit three Omni Negates in the TCG, now you bring one back in the OCG. Like, it just it's just weird when you put your head around it. Because all these people have sitting here talked about, like, well, what if they're just trying to bring the game together? Yeah, 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 yeah. This really shows that they're not. That they're just pulling it apart more and more so who knows but overall everybody who's hyped up about this ban list i'm happy that they're hyped up about the ban list i'm hopeful that ocg players like it i'm hoping you guys can start catching up to the tcg because you got a lot of work to do so get to work but um if i were a tcg player talking to an ocg player base i would challenge them and say Start running your tournaments without Maxi. Because it's not going to be at Worlds next year. Like, start getting used to that mentality now because you only have like a month and a half to prepare for it without your without it in your deck. So start being smart. If you have Worlds aspirations, start preparing now because that's ultimately what screws you in your deck building. Is you're so used to building your own Maxi and then it's gone. Like, start preparing for that now that would be my challenge to you so konami as much as you guys want to flaunt around like look at all these changes we made yada 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 you still hurting your ocg player base which is already fallen behind against the tcg so if you really wanted to do them a favor yesterday you should have banned this that's just my thoughts but overall Pretty cool to see a lot of these cards come back at a locals level. It'll be cool to see like OCG players do deck profiles and maybe watch a couple of matches on the OCG locals level and see them play uh, Zodiac and uh, Draco and all that stuff. And props to you again, Konami. You guys saw that the Fiendsmith stuff was stupid in the first place and you kind of owned up to your faults and you got rid of it. So props to you there. But That'll be it for me today, guys, on the ban list. Overall, I give this a ban list probably like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 just because of what I could see they're trying to do. So, but anyway, that'll be it for me, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, be kind, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.